We're always hearing about amazing breakthroughs in the medical world. But why should all that cutting edge whiz bangery be reserved for two-legged patients? Well, tonight, you're going to meet a very talented and flamboyant vet who's pioneered bionic limbs for animals. He recently made international headlines when he fitted Oscar the Cat with a dashing new set of titanium legs. In fact, the procedure has been so successful, it's now being used in human operating theatres. <laughs> Very relaxed, boy, aren't you? He's very soppy. Yeah, he's just um, takes everything in his stride, doesn't he? Really. Absolutely. And what a stride it is. Yeah, I know it is. Oscar the cat is stepping out in style these days. Kate and Mike Nolan have found themselves the proud owners of a moggy megastar, famous far and wide as the first feline in the world with a pair of bionic feet. One of the, the weirdest ones I found on Google was a, a mention of Oscar in the Himalayan Times. <laughs> really? Which is just surreal. He made a Tibetan newspaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Fantastic. Well, Oscar the thanks. Superstar. Yeah. I love him. Mm. I genuinely do. In my job, you occasionally get emotionally involved with the patients and you try and stay as detached as you can, but I think every now and then, you can't help but care for the life that's behind those eyes. Oscar owes his life and his shiny new paws to veterinary surgeon Noel Fitzpatrick. He helped develop world first bionic technology to improve the lives of animal patients like Oscar. But this passionate Irishman's ultimate goal is to see his medical techniques more widely accepted. Anything is possible as long as we have the imagination to create it and the wherewithal and the will to make it happen. This is the day he came in to see me. You a catnap in a neighbour's field at harvesting time cost Oscar dearly. The combine harvester has chopped him off here, just underneath his ankle. Both so back feet were gone. Oscar, Oscar, come here. here we go. And at the time, Kate and Mike wondered if it was kinder to put him down. Noel Fitzpatrick offered an alternative that sounded like science fiction bionic limbs. We had a lot of conversations about that, did a lot of soul searching, because at the end of the day, all we wanted was it to be good for Oscar, because although it might have meant us losing a pet, we weren't prepared to do it if it was not going to give him a quality of life. You didn't want it to be just an experiment? You wanted no, it to be absolutely not. Good no. for Oscar? Yeah, yep. yeah. And show me the transverse through that one. Bionics just means the marriage of mechanics and biology to create functional life. But Noel has advanced the technology with a prosthetic implant called an ITAP, which amazingly allows skin and bone to permanently attach and effectively becomes part of the body. In Oscar's case, that meant twice the challenge, putting two ITAPs into moving bones, something no one had ever attempted, and all the while trying to maintain his feline flexibility. And I wanted him to walk like a normal cat. And I thought that has to be possible. It's not been done, has to be possible. But in order to do that, I had to take the eye tap and make it fit in the ankle bone itself. This thing could explode, like driving a pickaxe into glass. Yeah, there's nothing to work with, is there? It's tiny. But you got it right twice. Uh, we were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar may have been a pioneer, but the technology is now being applied to patients like Muppy, whose back leg is being attacked by a cancerous tumour. Hopefully the ITAP will make a walk through the clover more comfortable. And this is the peg that will stick outside onto which Muppy's foot will attach. The new foot? The new foot. But how long will it take Muppy's skin to grow over that disc? About 19 days. Is that all? Based on the other dogs that we've done, yeah. Yep, let's go. Suction on. With a multi-million dollar practice, this self-confessed workaholic isn't your average suburban vet. And he likes things done his way. Well, people must come from all over the UK. Whoa, 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 whoa. Two feet away, dude. There you go. Thanks. So two feet from me at all times. Everything. Right. I want science and art to merge together. 
It's not a coincidence that theatre is called theatre. It's a place where we create something from nothing. From broken biology, from the words on the page, we create the theatre. It's a performance. It's a performance for the animal. And only for the animal. It's not for you. I'm not giving you a performance. Actually, I could care less what you think. We stand for life, we stand for progress in medicine, and we stand for moving things ahead in humans and in animals for the betterment of all creatures. Noel even holds his own day of celebration. Hi! Yes! Yes! It's all funny games He calls here, it Vet Fest, and it's his way of saying thank you to his 69 staff, referring vets, friends and family. That's a magnificent hat! Sure, I know, huh? I, have to, I have to be nice, I'm your mother! You look fantastic! How are you? How are you doing? Thank you very much! No, Shall right. I put my best foot forward? Oh, Humans without animals would have a very, very, very lonely planet. And every day we destroy species after species. We do, on this earth. And I think that man ignores the sentience of animals at his peril. They have feelings, they have needs, they have wants, and my job is to be the guardian of those feelings. And for the owners, like Mick Mallon, it's saving the life of a loved one they thought they'd lost. Sit. Down. Sit. Here is all metal. Really? Completely metal, yeah. No bone, all metal. Um, that's where the implant is. Wow. So that's that's the bit that's... Um, the six million dollar dog? He is indeed. That's the, that's the bionics. Leave it. Charlie was less than 18 Leave months it. old when that's he developed finger. a cancerous tumour in his Leave leg. Up. The Mallons were advised to uh -huh. amputate. And even then, Charlie would probably only live for another three months. Noel Fitzpatrick offered their only hope. Good boy. What's this? He was very honest. He said, your dog's going to die of secondary cancer. Charlie. But I can save the leg and we'll see what happens. All I did was chop out a piece of his arm and put some metal in it. Oh! oh. Noel makes it sound oh. simple. <coughs> Nothing wrong with that foot. It's got full strength, yeah. Right. And yeah. maybe it is for someone with his skills and experience. Charlie, it's outrageous that you've got a stuffed duck. I took retirement four years ago and I got Roly three years ago. He was part of my retirement package. I thought I'd get myself a dog when I retired. <laughs> Dennis Hoy was devastated when he found out his American bulldog, Roly, had a malignant bone tumour. Oh, that is a good boy. But once again, Noel worked his bionic magic. Come on, come on. And in a world first procedure, gave Roly a new hip, a new leg, and a new life. Inside there, he's had a new leg bone put in, a, a titanium leg bone. Wow. And the end, because it's metal on the end of the bone, it can't go into the hip, so he's had a hip replacement, got a titanium cup in the hip as well. well. That looks fantastic, unless you really got up close and gave it a bit of a rub. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know, look at that. No. Hi, mate. How you doing? Hello. Pet owners might love him. That's how all the men in But right Noel and his techniques have come in for some criticism. Does it make you angry? Noel, if people think that you're treating your animals like lab rats. Absolutely, it makes me very upset. Get lost. If you think for one second that I would ever, in a million years, do what is wrong for the animal. I look him in the eye, I make the best judgment I, ha I can on that situation, and I say, come on, let's have a go at life. How are they doing? Not bad, not bad. It's great to see them together. Stuff. Yes, yeah, they yeah, get yeah. on really well. Is this, this is the first yeah. time they've met. The first time. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's fantastic. Two bionic dogs together. Yeah. 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 It's awesome. Yes, I know. I know. The it's results awesome. can be spectacular. But back in surgery, there's no room for error. And right now, things are touch and go for Muppy. It will be so easy to get a spiral fracture in this. The drill is jamming at about 3.3. Great. <laughs> is it normally that tight? Yeah. It's just not normally this brittle. This is a very brittle bone. But two days later, another success story. Muppies, one happy puppy. Five weeks before the frame comes off and her foot goes on. In five weeks time, she will have a new foot. And everything's going okay? Everything's going great. On you go then. 
Oh, go Muppy, you little beauty. <laughs> the really intriguing part about this is that while the bionic vet has implanted an animal version of this into 12 different cats and dogs, so far it's only been used on two human amputees. The good news is it's proving a success. So much so that one of them is relying on this to help him, wait for it, climb Mount Kilimanjaro. How's the new leg travelling? Oh, it's going really well. I couldn't have asked for it to be better. Mark, climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, that will be a phenomenal effort. It should be interesting, that's for sure. No sockets, no soreness. They'll be looking at you, that bionic bastard. Yeah, it's not really fair, is it? <laughs> Mark was only 19 well, you, when he lost his leg fantastic. above the knee in, the morning, in a motorbike accident. He's had a standard prosthetic leg you know, for the past 17 the years. But since having the ITAP surgery, it's like the clock's been turned back. It just feels like they've given me my leg back. If I'd have had this when I first had my amputation, you know, I would never have really felt disabled in the first place. It's fantastic to hear you say that. It is amazing. I mean, I can't say it strongly enough. It's just been, it's just been amazing. You can uh, just click it on and off. Uh, well, I'll show you. The, an old leg, my old socketed leg, I could, it was held on by sort of suction. And uh, to take it off, I'd have to pull out a valve in the socket, and then um, it's phenomenal. And then it would take about 10 minutes to reattach it. I mean, that's that's the the leg. Oh, there's a little trick. I don't know if you want to see this, but there's a little party piece that I do now to demonstrate the rotational fail-safe operating. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can really throw your leg over. Yeah. So, but uh, it's not really supposed to do that. Obviously, no. that's. As for Oscar, the bionic cat, he's been living at the practice since his accident last October. And when he does go home, there'll be no more frolicking in the field for him. We've grounded him effectively because the last time we let him out, he came back legless. There is nothing in this world more important to me than looking in that animal's eyes. That when I look in their eyes and I see life coming back. That's what makes me tick. This is our snow room. It is one of my favourites. How much weight did you lose? 25 kilos. The allure is life-changing weight loss. One word, game changer. This is transformational medicine. But does it come with life-ending risk? He was only on it for 19 days. I can't accept that someone can just stop living. On 60 Minutes. The breakthroughs to treat Parkinson's drug addiction. Early onset Alzheimer's. The drugs reshaping the world. Are these drugs safe? We don't leave matches in the hands of children. It has to be supervised. So how far would you go? Why are we risking our lives? To be thin. Is a recall something you're considering? 